Thank you. Carol, good evening, everyone. Carol, good evening, welcome. So, welcome. Yes. Make sure you like those seats. You're picking on now. Wherever you decide to sit, that is where you have to stay. this truck and the roads out here are super super bumpy so please remember to remain fully and completely seated for me at all times keeping those hands arms feet and legs inside the truck and parents please supervise those children wherever they're seated at now that is where they have to stay our first stop on our journey out here is the little Aturi forest animals in the forest rely on their camouflage to evade predators so we're going to keep an extra sharp eye out here as we are kind of going along. We might see a lot of striped patterns as we do head on through here. And I see quite a few right off the bat. Over there on the right, way over there, there is an O copy. Looks like she's got her zebra party pants on, but these guys are not related to the zebra at all. They are the closest living relative to the giraffe. Down here on the right-hand side, there's a pair of saddle-billed storks. Now, these birds can get up to five feet tall, and they have a nine-foot wingspan, so they're absolutely some massive, massive birds. Some greater kudu on both the left and the right-hand side of the truck. These are all three female greater kudu. They do not have any horns on their head. The males have horns that can reach up to six feet in length. Very, very long horns on the male greater kudu. Now, they do have some faint stripes on their coat, you might have noticed. Those are there for a reason. They're there to mimic rays of sunlight or moonlight coming in from the forest canopy. So it's just another way that they're able to stay even better hidden deep within the forest. We are headed a little bit deeper now. Let's see if we can maybe find some more animals hanging out somewhere out here. I'm not seeing any black rhinos over this way, so we'll keep trying around the corner. They could be hiding out. There's a couple of bongos up on the right-hand side, way in the back over there. They're very hard to see. They're blending in very, very well. Those are all female bongos. They are that light copper color. Males will get darker in color over time, but both male and female bongos do have some of those twisty horns on their head. Of course, that's mainly used as a full of defense for them out there. Let's see. I'm not seeing any black line up. Oh, looks like they're all kind of hiding out. That's a okay. We'll make our way out of the forest now. Let's go down toward the river and see if we can find some animals hanging out down there. On the right hand side, there is a big male Nile hippopotamus over there facing away from us there. Hippos are among the largest and they are the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. They can weigh up to 5,500 pounds. Some pink backed pelicans on the right as well, the white and gray colored birds over there. And they have a wingspan anywhere from seven to nine feet, but surprisingly, they are some of the smallest of the pelican species in Africa, so they do get much bigger than that. We're going to keep looking for some more hippos up ahead here, although I'm not seeing anybody else popping up above the surface here so far. This 
this is quite common though. Hippos can hold their breath for up to five minutes at a time. And some hippos have actually been reported to hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time. So they can be down there for quite a while. I do see a hippo walking around on the left hand side. She's disappearing back there. That is a female over there. It's kind of hard to see with this palm tree bunch there in the middle. But that is another hippo walking away back here. We got some more dangerous animals down here on the left hand side. Some Nile crocodile. Again, on the left hand side, friends, they're on the left side of the truck only. some giraffes, hopefully some zebra out here, definitely some wildebeest. So we're going to go ahead and just make our way right on down here for you. Let's see, it looks like most of our friends are hanging out way off on the other side. But hook foot of a ton of no worries. see if I can get much, much closer to him here for you, if I can. That does look like the bull, but males and females do have some of those horns on their head, and they can be eight feet from tip to tip. So, some pretty massive horns on them. I'm going to try, like I said, to get much closer to him. He's really close to the road over there, so we'll try our best. Let's see if there's any painted dogs out here. I'm not seeing them out this way. They could be hanging out behind the den here, and I have a feeling that they are. Let's see if we can see them from here, though. Ah, uh, yeah, they're laying down. You can see the top of the den. You can see an ear sticking up right in the middle over there. That is one of the painted dogs. So unfortunately, they're all hanging out back there. We can't quite see them super, super well from the road. And they're taking some naps. It's a little bit cooler out here today. Looks like we'll be hanging out in the sunshine a little bit more. But we got a draft over here that we can see much, much easier. On the left-hand side, way over there, there's some dark-colored antelopes. Those are the sable antelopes. Males and females have those horns on their head. They can reach four feet in length. One of the Maasai giraffes over here as well. Maasai giraffes are the tallest of all giraffe species. They can get anywhere from 18 to 20 feet tall. I'm going to try and see if we can find more drafts up ahead here for you. Hopefully get you a little bit of a better view without the trees in the way. We'll see what we can do. Let's get a little bit closer to this guy over here on the right hand side. Now, like I said, and pulling cattle, their horns can be eight feet from tip to tip. But luckily, these horns are relatively light on their heads, thanks to a honeycomb-like structure on the inside that does keep them almost hollow. So it doesn't weigh down their heads too much for them at all. And I definitely do see the females up ahead. They're over by some zebra. Ooh, and on the left-hand side, you can see a giraffe up there. And there's also an eland laying down right in front of that brush line over there. There's two of them, one standing up, one laying down. The tan-colored antelopes are the elands. Elands can weigh up to 2,200 pounds. So they are quite large. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get much closer to those guys, but we should be able to find some more of those crabs up ahead here for you. Let's also go see the zebra. You can see the elands a little bit better. On that left-hand side, 
like I said, laying down by the brush line and standing up over there. There's a male and a female. As you can see, they both have some horns on their head. But let's go see the zebra. These are Hartman's mountain zebra over here, friends, on the right hand side. 